Greetings from Neuron Themes. In this video, we are going to walk you through how to create a cross pop up that's designed to increase leads and conversions. Let's see how you can create lead conversion cross pop ups. It's all way too simple, so let's start designing it. You already know the drill on how to start creating a pop up from the WordPress dashboard, templates, pop up. Now let's begin drawing out our canvas. We will need to configure the pop up settings first, assign the width for the pop up. We will leave the height to fit to content and we'll hide the close button because we won't need it. Let's add some entrance animation for a thrilling effect on our pop-up. Now it's time to set the foundation of our pop-up. Add a section with two columns. Set the background color for the section. We decided on black. Click to edit the first column and go to the advanced tab. From here, you will need to set the padding values of 25 pixels on all sides. Drag an inner section and delete one column. We will do this for the sake of our design. Edit the column and go to the Style tab. Set a background color, this time we'll go with white. Go to the Advanced tab and add some negative margin values to elevate our column out of the section. And while we're here, let's add some padding values as well. We will drag the first element onto the page. Search for the product element and before you get to say yikes, let's set the column value to 1 and the post per page will be the same value as well. Fine tune the image settings and the size. We are going for a more minimal style, so in our case, we will need the ratings and the add to cart button. Now, this is where we channelize our cross sell products. This is the product I want to market, but if you wish to include other products, you simply do that from the query tab. Set the source to manual selection. And then type in the preferred complementary product. It's time we add a touch of elegance to our pop-up. From the content section, we will tweak the typography options, as per usual, for the title as well as for the price. But we will also set a text color for the price to make it stand out more. We are done with this column. Moving on to the second column. From the Advanced tab, we will add padding values to adjust the rest of the content. Let's drag in a heading element. Type here our content, and in our case, our offer. Go to the Style tab, change the text color, and tweak the typography options. Tap for the clarification for our pop up. We will add a text editor element to display a longer description as to the purpose of this pop-up. Some styling steps will need to be taken, like we will need to change our text color as well as choose a typography style from the global list. Add another heading element, but this time we will navigate our users on how to obtain our offer. To speed up the process, we will duplicate the first heading, let's change the text, and we'll also style it a bit. This time, we'll add an underline as decoration and change the style of the typography. Go to the Advanced tab and add some padding values. Don't worry, we're almost there. As for our final component, let's drag a button. Edit the text of the button. Go to the Style tab and configure the typography options. Set the text color and the background color for the button. The design process is done. Now let's add our conditions and triggers to set off our pop-up. Click on Publish. We will set the conditions first. Select WooCommerce. And the next taxonomy will need to be set to Product Categories. As for the final result, we will need to specify the category. And in our case, we will assign it to Show on Furniture. From the Triggers tab, set the pop-up display on Page Load. To be more specific, after 30 seconds. And from the advanced rules, we will have our pop-up be displayed after a user has viewed two pages. This should be a very specific pop-up display that will complement a particular marketing strategy and will lead to boost in revenue and high success rate. Let's see our pop-up in action. This is the furniture category page as we are scrolling through. Now let's go to the second page, still searching and exploring. And here it is, our pop-up. This concludes our video. Follow up on other videos for more guides and tutorials. And by all means, do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more cool videos like this.